All right, welcome back to Lock Shop, the Unlocker. We are back, and I have a special service here uh, for y'all. Now, this service, and I'm, gonna, I'm about to show y'all how it works and how we do it. So I'm going to explain to you how to remove a Samsung FRP. For those of y'all that are not familiar, FRP stands, stands for Firmware Reset Protection. So got a customer. He purchased a Samsung S25 Ultra and was working A-OK. -okay. Now this was an unlocked Samsung from Samsung's website. Everything was A-OK -okay with it for the first week. And then after about, I think he said about seven or eight days, the device gave him a message. Now, let me show you what this message is. So he was presented with this message here. Now, for those of y'all, let me make it a little bigger. It's all right. For those of y'all that cannot see, this is a, it says, Samsung disabled this device because it was reported lost or stolen. If you are the rightful owner of this device, please contact your service provider for, disa for disabling instructions. Otherwise, this device will remain locked until the completion of any outstanding claims will, after any outstanding claims and will return to factory settings if elected. So, what happened was, apparently, if it just says Servify up there, now this was, this S25 Ultra, after doing some homework, was purchased from the Samsung's website, Unlocked. Now, it was purchased with Samsung Care, right? So, you pay every month, sort of like Apple Care, right? So, if your device is lost or stolen and you report it lost or stolen to Samsung and then they send you a new device. Well, apparently whoever this person bought this phone, sold him the phone uh, and then waited about a week or so and then reported it either lost or stolen. Now that what Samsung does is they will block that current phone that was initially uh, purchased and they will send him a new phone that he can use uh, normally. But that leaves the, the purchaser that purchased this used S25 shit out of luck, right? So this will never come unlocked. Even if you call Samsung and say, hey, I found my phone. Um, what do I do with the phone that I found? Because y'all sent me a new one. They're going to say, uh, I just saw. Now they're asking users to send that phone in, to send it in if you find it. And actually you sign a affidavit saying if you do find it you will send it in and what they will do is remove this a lock and then sell it as a uh, refurbished phone right but we now have the ability to remove that block to remove this lock and it will and you can use it good as new um, and I'm about to show you how to do it now I've been looking for this is different okay so there's a Samsung firmware reset protection unlock, and there's a Google FRP unlock, meaning if you do not sign out of your Google accounts, let's say you're selling a phone and you factory reset the device, and then you and then it's it's basically as good as new, right? You factory reset it and then you sell it. Well, you can get to the home screen after you factory set it, but it will not let you sign in to a Google account until you input the previous owner's information. So technically you're supposed to sign out of your Google accounts uh, on any phone you sell before you factory reset, reset it, before you sell it or give it to somebody else so they can sign in. If you do not sign out, that's what's called a Google firmware reset protection. You will not be able to sign into a Google account. Same thing with Samsung. Now there are this one service I'm about to show you will unlock everything. So it's not like a, you have to go to a Google FRP uh, unlock service or on this one where you have to find a Servify or Samsung FRP uh, unlock. This one unlock does everything. So let me show you how to do it. So what you do is, let me put this up, oh, hang on one second. So here's, here's where you're gonna go. This has got the working uh, service. Uh, I just uh, just unlocked it now. Most of the servers on our um, on our 
uh, list of approved unlock servers have this service. I tried this on two different servers. They came right back rejected. I put input the IMEI on this server and it came through and the customer said it's all good. So this one has a working and valid GSM unlock USA. They have a good valid working uh, Samsung and Google firmware reset protection unlock. Now let's check it out. So after you sign in, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go down here and let's see, there is a specific check. I think you can search for it, but let me show you where I found it. It's under FRP. I guess I should probably search for it, right? FRP. Here we go. Now that's for. Hang on one second. So you're going to go here. Let me make this a little bigger. So you're going to go. Where did I find it? Worldwide Google FRP account remove Samsung worldwide FRP. You're going to go right here. You see that? So you're going to select that. And here's the service I chose. And I'll show you the results here in a second. Then you're going to go to here. So the one I did was see, they got different ones here. They have Samsung Worldwide. You can start with the cheapest one. I went for the most expensive one because I didn't want to waste any time getting it rejected and trying another one. Usually if you do the most expensive first, it'll work. Now, I did this one right here. I did Samsung Worldwide FRP Google Samsung Cloud Account Removal. So this one will work for either if you don't sign out of your Google account and or if you don't sign out of your Samsung account, this will remove that block. Now, this is called, this is for Knox devices. Uh, that that that's like a Knox security feature. That's basically the lock that's on the device is a Knox lock. Samsung Knox is the security. And this is what I did. Now, here's a super premium. I don't believe I did that. I think actually, you know what? Let's find out. But Let's go here, my account. So here's the one I did, right? I did, yes, it was 24 bucks, as you can tell right here. So I did the Samsung Worldwide FRP Google, Samsung Cloud Account Removal by IMEI or serial number. I did IMEI. Now look, here's what you do once this is completed. So once this, now, they, your, your, the device, it doesn't have to be off, but I always tell the customer, turn the device off. Whenever you do a lot of this cloud stuff, not all, not every service, the device has to be off, but a lot of these services will get pushed to the phone. And a lot of these services will only take effect once it reconnects to the network, just like an iCloud removal, um, the device has to be off. And with, I tell the customers this with the Samsung and Google firmware reset protection unlocks, Turn the device off. I'll tell you when you're good to turn it on. Because once we do our work in the background and unlock it, it will get pushed to the device once it reconnects to the network. So uh, here are the instructions once this gets done. It says the device uh, SMS938U1, which is the S25 Ultra, has been successfully registered with the premium service. To complete the firmware reset protection removal, please follow these instructions below. Number one, restart the device or power it back on. 99% of the time, that's all it takes because it's going to, when you turn your device on, when you see a black screen, when you see the boot animation, you're thinking, oh, the device is turning on. It is, but what it's also doing is checking with their cloud services, with the network services, checking with Samsung, Google, making sure those, there's no blocks it needs to put on, uh, it needs to show you in the background while it's restarting. Now, if the restart, once you do the service and it says it has been successfully completed, you turn it back on and or restart it, and it still gives you that message, the block message that I showed you, 
what you're going to do is wipe the device in recovery right now that's trick uh, that's a little tricky because how are you going to reset it because you can't go in the settings and factory reset it right well i have some instructions for you that you can boot it into fast boot mode and then you can factory reset it in fast boot mode um, i'll get to that in a second so after you reboot it and or power it on and or factory reset the device in recovery, you're going to want to connect it to Wi-Fi and perform a manual activation, which means once this service is completed and you and you turn your device back on, it'll go to the home screen and once to reactivate it, it'll basically be like a brand new device. So you got to go through the whole setup process. That's what it means perform a manual activation is go through the setup process again, right? So and that's it. It's gone. It'll never return. This is not a bypass. This is a complete removal. Our servers that, that we have, our list of approved unlock servers are directly connected and or linked to the Samsung servers, to the Google servers. This is not a bypass. This is a 100% complete removal, never to come back and show its ugly face again. <laughs> And that's all you got. Um, now, let's say you restart the device or turn it on and it's still showing you this. Well, you're going to need to factory reset it. But like I said, how are you going to factory factory reset it if you can't get into the settings? Right? It's showing you that it's locked on that screen where it says, hey, this device is locked. Well, here's what you're going to want to do. Let me pull up these instructions. All right, and here are the instructions for entering fast boot mode to factory reset the device if you cannot get to your settings. So it's a simple Google uh, search and, but this is, I just couldn't remember the button combo, but this works. I did it the other day on my Pixel. Uh, but each Pixel is different than Samsung. That's why I had to look it up. Um, but this works 100%. Even if uh, uh, the device is off, even if your phone gets locked up, even if it's in safe mode, Whatever you need, if you need to get to fast boot mode, if you need to wipe the cache partition, if you need to factor and reset it, this is how you do it if you can't not get into your settings. So what you're going to do is to enter fast boot mode on the S25, you'll need to use a specific button combination when turning it on. It says uh, power off the device or if the device is already off, right? Simultaneously, press and hold the volume down button. Uh, press and hold the volume down and, and power button. So you're gonna press and hold the volume down and the power button together until the device vibrates. Once you feel it vibrate, release the buttons and you should see a fast boot mode screen. Let's see, where am I? Now, here are the detailed steps, right? So we're on vibration release and then number five confirmation. You should see the fast boot mode screen indicating that the device is now in fast boot mode. And then you, it'll give you this screen right here. Let's go here. Here's another uh, step by step process. Here's how to factory reset your S25. Now, this works. Let me state this. This works for any Samsung device. These steps. I know it says that for S25, it'll work for any Samsung device. And the service that we use on the unlock server works for any Samsung device. It could be S25 series. It could be the Note 20 Ultra. It can be the A56. Uh, it can be an S20. Does not matter. And it also works for tablets. So if you have a Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, it'll work for that. Any Samsung device running one UI. Um, so let's see. From the right edge of the device, semi easy hold. Okay, so I had it backwards. So to get into fast boot mode, you press and hold the volume down in the power button until it vibrates and then you let go. But to factory reset it, you press and hold the volume up button and the power button together until it vibrates and then you let it go. So again, to factory reset it, what you do to get into the, the behind the scenes menu, boot menu, you press and hold the, pow uh, the power button and the volume up button together until it vibrates. Once you feel it vibrates, it'll let it go. Uh, an Android recovery screen appears, release all buttons. Allow up to 30 seconds for the recovery screen to appear. From the Android recovery screen, select wipe 
data factory reset. Use the volume buttons to cycle through the available options and the power button to select. Select factory data reset. Allow several seconds for the factory data reset to complete. Then from there, once the factory data reset is complete, you're going to select reboot system. Now your device will reboot and you'll have a brand new phone. And by then the, the uh, block on the device shall be off. Uh, sometimes it takes that, but uh, like I said, the large majority of the time, you're not going to have to do that, uh, but it is key. Uh, it's not imperative, meaning like it'll still work if the customer has their device on, they're just going to have to reboot it. But I always tell them, look, they can't even use it anyways. So I tell them, look, keep your device off while we do this in the background. I'll let you know when you're, when you can turn it on. And then, and then after the service, you get notified the service is completed. You tell the customer, hey, go ahead and turn power on the device and you should be good. If for any reason you still get that message, give them the factory data reset instructions. Give them these instructions that we have on the screen because they're not going to be able to get into the settings to factory reset it because uh, that lock is going to be there. So I'll put links uh, for everything that you're going to need. I'm going to post this on the website. I'm going to post this on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, I'll, I'll have links for everything down below in the video description. If you're watching this on the website, I'll have the same thing. I'll have all, all the instructions and everything for you uh, down below. But uh, and this comes from Verizon, but they're all the same, right? Um, this will work for an at and This will work for an unlocked Samsung. It's just Verizon happened to post this on their website. So um, that will do it. If you have any questions, please hit me up. My contact information. Go. Uh, I should have it on YouTube. I have the contact information uh, down below as well. And then uh, on the website, uh, I have everything for you. Uh, in our list of unlock servers, our list of approved unlock servers. These are the unlock servers that I use. Uh, all of them you see listed on there on the website are ones that I use on, almost on a daily basis. I don't have any website or unlock server on there that I have not used. These are all ones that I know are legit, ones that are not going to scam you, and ones that I use every day to unlock devices. So they are 100% good to go. Uh, sign up for a reseller a reseller's account and start unlocking. And uh, if you got any questions, hit me up. I do appreciate the time. And uh, we'll see you all on the next one. Peace out.